Hey! So I'm just at my hotel at the moment and because I didn't film so much for you guys today I thought I would go through and do a what's in my travel camera bag addition <laughs> to the vlog today. Usually when I'm traveling I keep all my camera gear in my carry-on suitcase and my backpack. I don't put any um, equipment in my large suitcase just in case it gets lost or I don't have it with me when I land for some reason so I make sure to keep it all on me. The only thing that I would keep in my large suitcase is maybe a extra charger for something um, but otherwise I'll show you what I keep. <laughs> what I normally do is I have a change of clothes here for when I'm in the aeroplane and then on top of that I put my laptop which is just here. So I've got my laptop right here which is a MacBook Pro 17 inch. It's actually a super old laptop but it works perfectly for me. Next we have the my main camera that I use for shooting. This is the Canon 5D Mark III and it's got a 35mm lens on it. Um, the rubber band here on the lens is, it's not the original rubber band because I use this lens so much. Um, I think from like the rain and maybe sweat and whatever, um, the rubber band actually fell off my camera. And luckily, Dan had this wristband from the band against me from a show that he went to. And it fit perfectly around my lens, so I just keep that on there for now to make sure the lens is still water protected. I will get this replaced at some point, but for now this works perfectly and... I'm just going to keep it that way. Why not? So this is my main camera. And then in my suitcase, I actually have a second 5D Mark III body. I make sure I keep another one on me um, just in case anything happens to my main body. You honestly never know with travel trips. Sometimes you can get caught in the rain, which we actually did a few days ago. We were shooting photos in a monsoon because we had nowhere else to go. So we were like, let's just embrace it. My camera could have broke at that point, so I had a spare in my room just in case. Um, my camera could get stolen, I could drop it by accident, <laughs> like anything could happen. So I always make sure I have two when I'm traveling for work. Um, up in here, I forgot to mention, I have my Wacom tablet. It's a bamboo, it's just a bamboo. I think that's all it's, that's all it's called. But I always have this with me. I might not necessarily use my Wacom tablet um, all the time while I'm traveling, but it's handy to have on jobs because you never know when you might need to retouch something. This is a great example. Today, actually, I was editing some photos of the rice fields that I took yesterday, and I had to get rid of a few people that were in the background of the photos. So my Wacom tablet came in real handy for that. <sighs> Moving on, I might get rid of this. So in here we've got a bunch of random stuff. I've got my Polaroid camera, which I always take with me when I'm traveling. And this was a birthday present from Dan actually, so thank you Dan. <laughs> so I've got that, and then I've got some spare Polaroid film as well. Then in here I've got uh, spare tissues. And I've got this random card from our first villa that we were staying in with some bobby pins, cause you might need bobby pins at some point, you never know. Then I've got this power bank that normally I keep in my backpack that goes under my seat in the aeroplane. And I use this to charge batteries or my phone and yeah, it comes in really handy to charge things. Then I've got this, which also goes in my backpack, and basically it's a phone case that charges your phone. So it looks pretty chunky and a little bit strange and you look like you're super overprotective of your phone but yeah it's actually a phone charger and it comes in so handy especially when you're traveling in a country where you're not hiring a car. So throughout most of my travels I've normally gone to places like the States or Europe where Dan and I or myself and my sister or whoever I'm with we have a car with us so we use the car charger to charge our phones and batteries. Um, so when I'm in a country like Bali or Asia or somewhere like that, um, I don't want to rent a car because I would be terrified to drive on the streets here. So something like that, a power bank and my phone case that charges my phone comes in real handy. It's so good. The next thing I have is this little battery case. 
which has all my batteries for the RX100 that I used to vlog with. So I've got that with me. I've got this case, which holds all my memory cards. So I've got my CF cards for my Canons, and I've got um, I've got two backup SD cards for my Canons, which are 128 gigs. So while I'm traveling, I don't delete anything off the 128 SD cards. They're used as a second backup. I only delete photos off my CF cards. And I also use the SD cards um, to put in my RX camera as well, to vlog with. And then here we have a little case that Dan has labeled for me. I'll just open it up. And in here, I've got two hard drives. The one on the left is my main backup hard drive, which has all my photos that I've ever taken in my entire life. <laughs> It's got all those final photos, and then the hard drive on the right is where I back up all my photos that I take while I'm traveling. Even though I'm traveling, I still love to keep my same um, system that I do back home with client shoots and back up all my photos. Personally, I find that travel photos are just as important as client photos. I would be, I would be devastated <laughs> if I lost any photos that I'd take while I was traveling. Um, so I make sure to back them up every night or every second night and sometimes if the trip is pretty hectic I'd, I'd probably back them up every third night but I definitely back up while I'm holidaying or traveling for work which is the case in this trip. Moving on you can probably find about a million Canon chargers in my bag. So here's three and then I think yeah there's two more here and then there's a bunch more on my bedside table. I love to have spare Canon batteries. And this is a must because one Canon battery normally lasts me the whole day from sunrise to middle of the night while I'm traveling. However, I love to bring spares just in case for some reason I accidentally leave the live view mode on in my camera and the battery dies really quickly. Um, I bring spares along with me in case um, I forget to charge batteries. I bring them with me in case there's no power or if there's a power outage. So I find it very important, especially when I'm traveling for work like right now, to bring a lot of Canon batteries. And as you saw, I had a lot of batteries for my vlogging camera as well. <laughs> and then here we've got, this is just an empty case that I put my Sony RX100 in. Here I've got an iPod cable that I use and I forgot to put this in but this little guy is normally in my bag as well then I've got this power cable for it charges my iPod and it charges my phone and it's got a extra cable if it would focus In here I've got my soundproof headphones that Dan has so kindly lent to me. They are amazing on an aeroplane because I can't hear absolutely anything that's going on around me. <laughs> Which might be annoying to other people, especially if I have an aisle seat or something, but I love these headphones. And I, I can't sleep unless I have these headphones in my ear. And another little thing. <laughs> when I'm on a plane, I love to listen to music that makes me feel nostalgic. So my go-to music for an aeroplane would be The Vines. I love listening to them when I'm on a plane. That is the first band that I go to and I listen to all their songs and it usually helps me fall asleep because I just feel nostalgic and happy and yeah, so that's what I listen to. And then the last few things that are in my bag are two spare lenses. So in here I've got the Sigma 24mm 1.4 which is a great lens, especially for traveling because it takes amazing landscape photos. And then in here I have, if I can open it with one hand, <laughs> I have the, oh that's why, okay. I have the Canon 50mm 1.2, which is also a wonderful lens, especially for portraits and also for landscapes if I want to take a really great photo of something that's kind of far away. The 50mm actually comes in real handy. 
but in saying that the 35 mil is always on my camera and that's why the band has fallen off last but not least is my backpack and i feel like this is the most important part of my travels i love my backpack so much um i got this bag from ebay it's not even a brand or anything but it is perfect Inside, I keep a little insert slip where I put my camera. And in here, I've got a little pouch. Eesh! I can't open it. In here, I've got a little pouch that I keep my lip balm in and some hand sanitizer in and some spare hair ties and bobby pins, of course. And normally, I've actually got this little guy <laughs> pinned on right here, my Yosemite badge but I'm always scared that I'm going to lose it and I really don't want to lose it so I always take it off while I'm traveling. I should really just take it off at home but I always forget. I actually don't like bringing a specified camera bag with me while I'm traveling and I think that's just to make my my camera gear just to make it all less more incons inconspicuous. <laughs> um, yeah so I like to bring this brown backpack that looks like nothing and I use it for absolutely everything and every day I repack my bag, I've got my camera, I put maybe some memory cards, some spare batteries in there, my Polaroid camera, um, I put my RX batteries, my RX camera in there and every day it's just something different. Well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learnt something from what I carry in my travel camera bag. Um, if you have any questions, any comments or anything, please let me know. I would love to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Good night. <laughs>